February 3rd, 2021. Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin has ordered hundreds of Pentagon Advisory Board members to resign this month as part of a broad review of the panels. This will essentially purge several dozen board members who were appointed last minute under the Trump administration. During the last two months of his tenure, former Acting Defense Secretary Christopher Miller removed a number of longtime members from several defense policy boards. More than 30 of those replacements will now be forced to resign, including former GOP House Speaker Newt Gingrich, retired Brigadier General Anthony Tata, and former Trump campaign manager Corey Lewandowski. The Biden administration declared that Myanmar's military takeover of the government, including the arrest of the country's civilian leader, Aung San Suu Kyi, constitutes a coup d'etat. Myanmar is scheduled to receive about $100 million in U.S. assistance this year, largely in humanitarian and direct economic aid, and little of those funds are expected to be restricted by the new review. Russia's homegrown Sputnik V vaccine showed high levels of efficacy and safety in a peer-reviewed study released on Tuesday. This could come as a potential boost for the Kremlin's aim to promote the COVID-19 shot abroad and curb the pandemic at home. The findings from a preliminary analyst of large-scale clinical trials published in the British Medical Journal in The Lancet demonstrated that the two-shot vaccine was 91.6% effective against symptomatic COVID-19. The study could be a significant milestone for Moscow in the global vaccination race, potentially offering President Vladimir Putin's government a geopolitical clout in the developing world and the chance to tap into the lucrative global vaccine market. And of course, Russia is vaccinating Russians, but we are also working with a number of nations to understand the benefit of our vaccine, which is proven safe platform of human coronavirus and high efficacy. So we'll be supplying them, of course, on schedule. President Biden on Tuesday signed three executive orders to set up a task force to locate migrant families separated under the Trump administration. He plans to reshape the U.S. border and asylum policy and review restrictions made to the legal immigration system over the past four years. One order established an interagency government task force led by the Secretary of Homeland Security that will be charged with identifying all migrant children who are separated from their parents. The order mandated a review of the Trump administration remain in Mexico policy, which required 70 thousand asylum seekers to wait outside U.S. territory while their cases were settled. Two FBI agents were fatally shot and three wounded Tuesday while serving a federal search warrant in a child exploitation case in southern Florida. The suspect also died at some point during the standoff in which he barricaded himself inside a home. Two of the wounded agents were taken to hospitals to be treated and were in stable condition, said an FBI agent spokesperson, adding that the names of the deceased agents will not be released immediately. Every family uh, just, when they put that shield on and go out in the morning, dreads the possibility of a call, receiving that phone call. And uh, my heart aches for the families. I've not had an opportunity, nor will I try today, to, um, to contact them, but uh, they put their lives on the line, and uh, it's a hell of a price to pay. New York mayoral candidate and former presidential hopeful Andrew Yang announced Tuesday that he has tested positive for the coronavirus. 46-year-old Andrew Yang previously announced a self-quarantine last month after an aide tested positive for the virus. In a statement released by Yang himself, he said, and I quote, I am experiencing mild symptoms, but am otherwise feeling well and in good spirits. I will quarantine in accordance with public health guidelines and follow the advice of my doctors. When the time is right, I look forward to once again hitting the campaign trail and advancing a positive vision for our city's future. <laughs>